We have a big tick problem here in the metro area with some carrying dangerous diseases. It's a frightening thought, and the statistics are startling. According to the Center for Disease Control, the volume of tick-borne illnesses, such as Lyme disease, more than doubled from 2004 to 2016. Locally, one of the places that has seen the largest increase in cases of Lyme disease recently is Staten Island, where the community has seen a 250% increase in just four years. Researchers at Columbia University and the University of Wisconsin-Madison have created, indeed, a new smartphone app that gives the users the opportunity to provide crucial data on tick bites. Dr. Maria Dukwasser, Associate Professor of Ecology, Evolution, and Environmental Biology at Columbia University and co-creator of the Tick app, joins us now to discuss how her app is allowing everyday people to help her team of researchers learn more about where ticks are and how we can prevent their bites. Doctor, it's nice to have you here with us. Thank you. Nice to be here. Were you surprised to see, first of all, the, the numbers increasing and to see them so dramatically in a more urban setting such as Staten Island? Yeah, absolutely. So I moved to Columbia four years ago. I previously was in New Haven at Yale mm -hmm. University, and uh, that's more of a suburban setting. And that's kind of what we're used to seeing Lyme disease, ticks, tick-borne diseases in the suburbs. Uh, and so this was really surprising to me, given that it is more of an urban setting. Staten Island has a little bit of a suburban flair to mm -hmm. it in some areas. But the fact that the deer can move around the island and basically go to all the parks in the city and deposit ticks there, becoming a problem, you know, eventually developing all these tick-borne diseases was really a surprise. And I think it is to all the, the citizens there that are highly concerned with these tick-borne diseases. Where then did the idea come from to say, well, let's see if we can create an app that can be helpful here? Yeah, so we will, we several colleagues of ours have been talking about the fact that a lot of us study the ecology, study what's going on in nature. Others look at what people are doing. But what's key is where people are encountering the ticks. So you need to have the ticks, all the ecology that's appropriate, and people need to go there and have certain activities that put them in risk. So we thought an app that would do what it does, which is it, it asks people to report if they found a tick. And if they did, we asked them what behavior you were performing, what activities were you performing. And then also we track where they were when they got the tick. Can really kind of start understanding where is the risk and what people are doing to put themselves at risk. So we thought that would be a, a good starting point for the citizen science project and help people, help us learn together about where the risks are and how we can prevent them. You mentioned a term that I find very interesting and that is citizen science. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? So researchers, you know, in the lab, we, we learn a lot about the, the diseases, how they work. We even go to the field, but we often don't necessarily talk to people. We just study the ticks, you know, at least like myself, you know, we, we have a lot of studies in the field. But I think we need more than that. We, we don't know what most of the population are doing and where they're getting the ticks, so we need help. We need people to take control of their own health to learn how to prevent the, the tick bites and what to do with them, but also collectively inform us, the researchers, and the administrators that are going to be trying to do something about it, uh, you know, help us understand where those risks are. The only way we can do it is if we all participate. It's impossible to do a study that will encompass, you know, the, everybody. So that's how this app can potentially be used by everybody. So explain to us then exactly how it would be used. Sure. So the app has uh, three, main, three main goals. Uh, the first one is the citizen science, which is uh, people can download the app for free in a smartphone. But also if they don't have a phone, they can download it online or use a web interface if they don't use a phone. And then we ask for 15 days that you report if you have found a tick on you or not. And what were you doing when that happened? And also we follow where you were. The other part is educational. So we also help people prevent ticks. We put a lot of information there. And if they find a tick, they can take a picture and send it to our collaborator in Wisconsin that they can identify it and tell people what tick it is mm -hmm. and how long we think it's been feeding on you. And it's important because there's many different ticks that transmit different diseases. And the longer they've been feeding on you, the more likely you are to have gotten sick from them. So having that information is quite crucial. And the other thing people can do, we tell them of places where they can send the ticks to be tested. So that's the second part. And the third part is what I call the research part, which is that we're also on the ground on Staten Island at the moment. 
We are on eight parks and possibly expand to more. We're studying the ticks, the deer, the mice, the ecology of, of Staten Island. We're going house by house, ringing bells and asking to check the yards of people that live next to the parks and asking them some questions to understand what they think about the disease and what they do about it. And so we're going to put all that together. So people of Staten Island particularly interested in the app. Everybody can use it, but in particular in that area, it would be really useful to combine the two. So it, it allows people to become aware uh, where they are and the possible consequences here, and then teaches them at the same time? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So we hope this will also help prevent and educate people. You know, by going house by house, we often realize people don't know, for example, how small the tick is, uh, what they should be doing. So we're trying to educate and at the same time learning at, so we can then better target what we call intervention. So if we're going to do something, what shall we do? Shall we do something in the park? Shall we target people's backyards? Kind of get a sense of uh, what we should be doing, knowing what people are actually doing now rather than in the abstract. Well, it's a marvelous science. and extraordinarily useful application of technology here. Doctor, thank you so much, first of all, for your development, your role here, and for spending some time and talking with us about it. Thank you. And for information on the TIC app and how you can get it on your smartphone, visit our website at metrofocus.org.